My name is Amanda Cantrell Roche, and I am a teaching artist living in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm a friend of the Atlantic Institute. And to me, the HISMET movement, more than anything else, means service. It's about service of building schools and educating students. It's about humanitarian aid, relief in nas national disasters. It's about providing medical services to impoverished areas, building wells but also the service of um, interfaith dialogue and cultural exchange. And, and that is a really key part because um, that's how we build bridges. That's how we really get to know people is by, um, particularly by going into the home of someone who has a different faith than you and a different culture and sitting down to dinner with them and um, often with you know the need of a translator and having these deep engaging conversations and finding out all the ways you actually do share a lot of values. I feel like if um, Westerners could embrace that a little bit more and um, and see what it feels like to welcome people into your home and uh, don't have this idea of converting each other, but really trying to understand each other and focusing on where our commonalities are. That's it's such a beautiful way to build a path towards peace and understanding in this world, and we certainly need that. Um, I was introduced to the Hizmet movement in 2015 on a cultural and dialogue trip to, to Turkey, which was just a phenomenal experience. And um, I went on a domestic dialogue trip here in the United States to uh, New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania as well. And um, I have um, attended several lectures and community iftar meals and iftars in uh, families' homes here in Nashville and um, the several events from the Atlantic Institute. And at every one, I learn a little bit more and I feel a little bit more deeply connected to um, these people and their incredibly generous hearts. I have also created a couple of little films to help um, explain my um, experience in Turkey and with that cultural exchange. I think to describe the people of Hizmet, I would say generous, virtuous, and compassionate. And there are so many more words, but those three, they feel like they're the ones to, that stand out. And um, while I, it's hard to say what I would suggest to do, there's so much going on right now. Um, it's a really challenging time in terms of human rights and freedom in Turkey, as well as so many other parts of the world. But I do want to offer this acknowledgement, and that is that I see you, and I see your efforts, and I see how generous you are, and I see how giving, and how virtuous, and how committed you are to finding a path towards peace and better understanding. And I see your strength and your endurance and I hope that we can just continue to um, help other people see that because it's quite a gift in this world.